Hey there, YouTube Richard Works 996 here. And today I've got a cool little video for you. Um, this is a kind of a look at the internals of, a, of an AK, or not an AK, <laughs> sorry, HK uh, clone uh, made by PTR. It's the PTR 9CT uh, threaded barrel. Obviously that's what the, the T stands for. Um, so here we have their lower, I, um, I guess it would be called and pretty cool. Definitely different than an AR. Uh, it's got like this weird, well, I guess that's the spring. The hammer spring has this like wiener that goes back, um, polymer with like a metal insert in the back here for the pin to hold through. Uh, it's not a front pin. I do believe the real originals were had a front pin here instead of this uh, kind of capture thing. So this is after my first um, trip to the range, as you can tell. Um, I only put like 100 rounds, 120 rounds through it. So not too dirty, but also it's pretty, pretty gassy. It looks carbony, you could say. Uh, this is the recoil spring and bolt carrier. Here's the bolt head with the roller, the infamous roller delay. Um, there's the bolt face. I believe you can take this off by turning it a quarter turn. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, pretty nice machine work, I must say. You don't see a lot of uh, machining marks like an AK or I mean, you see some but certainly nothing like an AK uh, or or an ARs. ARs are pretty good in that respect. And now if we take a look at this upper or I guess this is the firearm technically because it's got the serial number on it. Pretty nice. Their welds here pretty good. I'll give them that. Even the uh, Picatinny rail welds and, and uh, sight block welds are pretty nice. Um, this captured uh, charging handle, it looks like to get this out, you have to line this up with a pin and you can punch that pin out. Yeah, there's a corresponding hole on this side um, to punch that out. And they, so I'm gonna clean this I'm also going to clean my Glock here, and I think I'm going to mount this QD sling mount here. I'll probably make like a nut plate for the back, um, or I could just use the M-Lock nuts, I guess, and because I kind of, I would like the locking, you know, the M-Lock pin, but they're like 40 bucks, they're out of stock. Um, and this was $25 and I had this already. So maybe something like that. I don't know if that looks too doofy or not, but I mean, what else are you really gonna do? Um, and if it really bugs me, I can just buy another one of these. But not gonna be as strong as a pin mounted one, obviously, but I'm not doing pull-ups with the thing. I'm just carrying it to the woods. So um, yeah. The brace worked awesome. I love this thing. Well worth the money. Uh, gun ran fine. I had two light strikes, I wanna say. And my it only happened with my buddy, so I don't know if it was the, some way that he slapped it forward or something, but every time I did it, it worked fine. Um, you can also see the witness marks of the brace here. This is how tight it is on there, um, which I really, really like. Out of the box, it shot very close to sighted in. It shot a little to the right, probably an inch to the right at uh, 30 yards. Eh, maybe 20 yards, paced off. Um, but just a great little shooter, zero recoil. I mean, you can mash that trigger. I don't think I need a binary, honestly. Um, just, it would just waste more ammo. Um, but yeah, very fun, very, uh, bite-sized, you could say. 
Um, but yeah, that is the disassembled PTR. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Uh, everyone I showed it to really is liking it. Um, now my buddy wants to sell his dirt bike and buy one of these that I just went with today. So I think it's doing its job fairly well. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, Break, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.